Hi and welcome to Arcor Germany to a new review and today I have again a very old Armagnac for you, 50 years old from La Terrat, and I really hope you enjoy the today's review. Our Armagnac today is from Vincent Laterat and Vincent Laterat is a so-called négociant. This means he buys his cars from different domain and bottles them under his name Laterat. He also started now to produce its own Armagnac, but for these we have to wait probably some more years until they are bottled because they are still very young at the moment. And uh, today bottle I will show it here of course um, is from POH Spirits Adventure, an independent bottler. And on the label you will see some moustache and Vincent Laterati also wears this kind of moustache. So they were inspired by his moustache for the label. And so I will tell you now the further facts and numbers to the today's Armagnac. Our Armagnac is 50 years old. It was bottled in 2024. We have here two different casks and the older cask is from 1962. They used Uni Blanc and Baco grapes for this Armagnac. We have an ABV of 45.1%. It's a cask strength. 50 centiliters is the bottle size and the price for one bottle is 160 euro. These were the information to the today's Armagnac and now we want to start with our tasting. So, I'm excited for this Armagnac today and we will have first a look to the color. By the way, I had a small sample from this Armagnac which was provided from POH Spirits and um, yeah, we will have first a look to the color and the color, um, yeah, it's a terracotta style for me because it has um, a lighter brown with some red influence and then it would be for me the terracotta. And then we want to have a look into the aromas from this Armagnac. Very nice nose. So I don't know and the guys from POH Spirits even don't know where this Armagnac comes from exactly. It's a, if it's a Bass Armagnac um, or an Haute Armagnac. So they said it's not a Teneres and for the first impression for me it's a typical, yeah, almost typical Bass Armagnac aromas which I have here. It's a very nice, balanced and um, yeah, complex nose, a varied nose. <laughs> Actually, the first imp impression I had was a tobacco and this tobacco um, is part of all the other aromas. So this tobacco is somewhere here and then you have, um, yeah, you have a little fruity note, but it's not that fruitiness, that extremely fruitiness. It's more a citrus fruit, but for me the pineapple, but not the fresh pineapple, a grilled pineapple. Mm -hmm. The grilled pineapple and then some um, roasted walnuts, some cedar wood. Oh, this was just in this moment the beautiful, this, this cedar wood. And I have also uh, some hints of jasmine here. Ah, wonderful. The nose is very good. And there's Maybe a decent rancio. Some hints of rancio are here, but not that present. So it's not a very spicy nose. It's an elegant nose for me. Yeah, no, no it's not that spicy, no. 
This is very nice. The, all these flavors with this beautiful tobacco, this is very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm very interested now for the palette. And let's see now if it has also this tobacco style or maybe more fruity style now. We will have a look. Santé. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so on the palette, first impression, a cherry jam, a beautiful cherry jam with some orange peel inside. And then you have a wonderful sweet caramel. And this sweet caramel also goes over to the finish. But a palette is, oh no, I have a little rancio. <laughs> the palette is, um, almost buttery for me and also some walnuts again, which I had from the dose, but now more the glazed walnuts. So very sweet palette and a finish. Again, as I mentioned, the sweet caramel, which is also part in the finish. Again, some tobacco. Also some Nuts, but now for me it would be more like the roasted almonds, not these intense, intense nutty notes here. And as I mentioned, also just um, a decent rancio. And in combination with this rancio, some licorice. Wonderful. Very nice. Yeah, very good Armagnac. So one last sip. And what I really like about this Armagnac is that it's a multifaceted Armagnac. Exciting Armagnac also with this beautiful tobacco, which is also from the nose to the finish, almost part of this whole Armagnac. Mm. There's no bitterness inside. No bitterness. Um, yeah. Very nice. Definitely a very good Armagnac and also a very good recommendation if you ask me. Mm. So 50 years old, 160 euros for 50 centiliters. I think this is okay. That's a fair price. And yeah, so it's maybe also a little challenging Armagnac because it has this wide range of flavors, aromas and yeah, it's maybe not that easy drinking Armagnac. It's yeah, I think you should have some experience because it also has some um, heavy aromas here with this um, yeah tobacco, with the glazed walnut, with this descent rancio which it has. So yeah, but as I mentioned, wonderful Armagnac, very good. Point wise, this Armagnac would receive from me 91 points. It's an absolutely fantastic Armagnac and um, yeah, have a look at their shop. They sell this bottle. At the moment it's still available. If you are interested, have a look. Yeah, and if you have the chance to try this Armagnac or maybe you tried it already, what is your experience? Leave a comment if you like and of course I would be also very happy if you subscribe my channel and leave a thumb up if you like this review. And of course, I also hope we will see us in the next video again. Thank you very much for watching this review today and have a good time. Bye bye.